Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and today it feels like spring. <laughs> spring is my favorite season. I even put on my favorite spring blouse just for this video because today we are talking all things spring trends. If you're anything like myself, you are probably already online shopping for the spring and summer season. You are over the cold. You are ready for some sunshine, some flowers blooming. Yes, I am there. I am ready. So let's talk all things spring trends today. And before we get into the video, I just want to mention that if you like fashion content and if you want to see more fashion content from myself, then please subscribe down below to see a new video every single Saturday. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty everyone, the laptop has come back out because I'm going to be talking about spring trend alerts, I'm going to be looking down, referencing all of the stuff I have written, plus all of the online shopping I have done. So let's just dive right in to the first trend that I am actually really excited for, bra tops. Now it seems like this spring season we are going full skin. The skin is out. I have a couple different trends that are all <laughs> skin related. I know that for a lot of people that does not make them comfortable. I totally understand. Um, totally not necessary for you to wear any of these types of trends, but I'm personally really excited about it. I'm not typically a bra top kind of girl. I definitely do a little bit more coverage than that, but let's do it this year. I'm excited about it. I found some really cute options for you. So dive into the bra top trend. So this first bra top that I found is from Aritzia. It comes in quite a few different colors. It ranges for about $48. So I love this top. It's ribbed. It looks very structured. It has the nice scoop bra tuck underneath. I really enjoy this bra. And I know Aritzia is a great brand. A lot of people love shopping from Aritzia. So I would definitely look into picking one of these up. Now I also found one from Skims. Skims is a place that I have been dying to shop on for so long, but I have not found anything that is like told me that I need to buy it. And if I do find something that I really want to buy, it's always out of stock anyways. But I found this really cute bra. It's the Fits Everybody Triangle Bralette. I like the idea of a Fits Everybody bra top. This one ranges for about $32. It has seasonal colors and their traditional like neutral palette, which I love that Skims does this. I would honestly, you could wear this as a bra, you could wear this as a top. Either way, I think that this would be such a great option. I'm loving these seasonal colors, but I think this bra top is very flattering. Like I said, I would definitely wear this as a top and just add like a little blazer on top if you're not too comfortable or just throw something on top. Perfect. This bra top trend I do not see going away anytime soon. I love the different options there are out there. I'd really dive into it. You don't necessarily need a bra. These can be just the smaller cropped tops will work as well. But we're going to get into another trend that I really enjoy and that I'm definitely going to be investing in this spring season. It's the mini skirt. Specifically, the three skirt styles that I'm seeing a lot this spring is micro, mini, and then mid skirts, which I personally prefer the mini skirts. I don't like the micro, that's a little bit too short for me, especially because it usually means they're low rise. I'll stay away from that, but I love the mini skirt. So I found a couple different options for you guys, starting off with this one from Urban Outfitters. I went a little crazy for this one. I liked <laughs> the models actually wearing a cute bra top too, so it kind of ties back into the first trend, but it's like this funky print I don't even know what to describe this print as. Personally, really like this black and white stripe situation, whatever's going on here. It looks really comfortable. The model kind of has her leg stretched out, which means that it's not like a pencil skirt and going to, <laughs> you're not going to be able to move in it. So I really enjoy this one. This one goes for about $39. Next up, I have one from Princess Polly. This is the Lola mini skirt in white. I love this. I love the little slit. I think it's so cute. And I think that this is a very flattering skirt. It's got the high rise action, which I love. I will stick with my high rise. It's got the slit. It looks very comfortable and functional and it doesn't look like it's that like stretchy spandex material. It looks like it's an actual structural skirt. So I really enjoy that. And it comes in many different colors as well. 
They have a cute denim version if you're looking for the denim. Denim's gonna be really in the springtime. Just because I like this trend so much, I picked out one more option for you guys. This is the Selby mini skirt in black by Princess Polly as well. This one goes for about $38. I just personally think a black mini skirt is going to be a staple in everyone's wardrobe. You've definitely seen it come into the fall and winter season. I think it's going to continue until the spring and summer. Who knows, it could be back next fall and winter as well. So I think a black mini skirt is just a staple in everyone's wardrobe. You can see on the model, this one has a little zipper, which I enjoy. Um, I think that those are the easiest to get into and you can tell that it's not going to be a struggle to get into. So I definitely want to invest in one of these three options. So I was talking about the skin, it's not going away. I got the bra tops, I already got the mini skirts out. Now we are talking about the cutout dress. I don't know what this is, but the cutout dress. So yes, skin is showing guys. If you're not on board, that's totally okay. But if you have something that's a little bit more skin showy, got a little cutout here and there, whatever, pull it out because it is time. So I thought that we'd go out for a really casual one at first. This one I'm actually have in my Amazon cart right now because I think it's so flippin' cute. This is, I'm not, I can't even say this brand, Sol, so Q. <laughs> it is the sexy knitted cutout dress, bodycon, halter, neck, maxi, dress, club, party, beach, strap, long, dress, Y2K street. Did you get all that? <laughs> Anywho, I like the brown personally. That is my favorite of this color. Like I said, I'm into browns lately. I'm really into the brown shade. But they have so many different colors in this. I like this little cutout action that they have. I like the triangle that comes up. It's got a little bit of the cutout action. It's not too overwhelming. If you're not about showing off your midsection or anything, this is the perfect option for you. I just love how flattering it looks across the chest. So I definitely think I'm going to be picking this dress up very soon because it's so cute and it's going to be in this year. I also found another one on Urban Outfitters. I love this one too. I love the silk dress trend. It definitely has not gone away and I think it's going to continue into the spring season as well. This one is the Urban Outfitters Pretty Please Cutout Mini Dress and they have a couple different options for this as well. I like this brown color as well but it's like a copper brown I'd almost say. It's a little bit shorter for sure, but I love the cutout action on here. It has like a cross on the chest instead of having to show off any of your skin in your midsection, like a little slit or around your rib cage or whatever. This just has it across the chest. You already have the straps there, but it just has that little cutout action and I think it's very flattering across the chest. Love this. Next up is a trend that I frequently see reoccurring in the springtime, but I think that this year it's really going to be in, is like the plaid pattern. I call this the picnic pattern because I cannot imagine a better outfit to wear on a picnic than a little plaid something. I found two different pants options. I think it's kind of fun to add a little patterned pants in the springtime. I think it's fun to like get out of the jeans and the black slacks and all that and do something just a little bit more fun. So I found two different options for you. This one is from Princess Polly. It is the Euros Pants Yellow Check. And this one runs for about $50. I love how this looks. It's very flattering across the midsection. It is a little bit shorter for my liking. I wish the ankle went down just a little bit more, but I like this yellow and like almost black brown mix that it gives it. I love checkered patterns so much from afar. It looks like you have all the colors mixed in, but if you come up close, they're a lot more separated. And that's one of my favorite things about the plaid patterns. Uh, they also have a black and white option as well if you're not into the yellow. I think that the yellow option would be so perfect for spring though. And of course, adding just a little bit of color here and there, always a great thing to do for the spring. I also have a really, really cute one from Urban Outfitters. These are $15, guys. A lot of these companies are having huge sales right now. That's why I like putting these videos out a little bit earlier because they're getting rid of all of their winter stuff and they're clearing it out for spring and they don't realize that these are going to be really in this year. So these are regularly $44.95 and they are the ultra high rise dad pants from Hollister. They are $15.99. They are on clearance. So if you like these, go and get them. They still have my size left in them. Um, so they have a blue plaid and a red plaid. I like the blue plaid. It's just a little bit more subtle for me. I love blues in the summer and springtime. Oh, it's so perfect. So I love these so much. I like that the trouser kind of 
folds in on the top and then spreads out they would look so flattering on you they have that like boot cut flare kind of dad straight leg you know you know all the terms <laughs> that are going on it kind of gives your body a little bit more of a shape to it and i really think these are so cute so if you see your size in them go get them now next up in the pants trends is one that i'm very excited for this is a trend that i have not seen come in in a while and i think part of the reason being is because a lot of people think of this trend as supposed to be like very high-end fashion very preppy a little bit too much but guys the structured tailored shorts are gonna be in and this is one i am definitely hopping on like without a doubt this is one of my favorite trends that's coming out this year so first off i found these tall notch detailed tailored shorts from boohoo they are on sale for 14 dollars. they are 61 percent off they have a color in stone and baby pink the baby pink they have a lot more sizes left than the stone but oh my gosh i love these they have like this little tiny like little v where the like zipper is and i think it's very flattering you can put a belt with these they have a really nice big belt loop oh my gosh i love the shorts trends so i found another option by glass ons and these i think i'm gonna buy like i every time i look at them they just look so pretty and so perfect they are the tailored shorts they run for 40 dollars uh, they have fresh linen, milk, and oceana in these. Oh, I just think they are gorgeous. I like the side pocket action. It's not up at the top, it's at the side. Just very flattering. It's got that like flare pant effect that's really in, like I was just saying, the baggy pants, the straight leg, da 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 da. That's what's going on here, but it's very elegant. And I, oh, they just look so perfect. I'm going to have to buy a pair of these. Alrighty, next up is another big trend I'm seeing this year is movement, fluidity, movement, gracefulness, all these fun words to describe all the fun things going on in fashion. Last year, I predicted that 1920s fashion was going to be in. It took a little bit of a turn. But I think this had to do with the pandemic, but since the pandemic is doing better, I guess, um, this flapper trend is finally coming in and it's feathers, it's tassels, it's trains for long dresses. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so for it. I love it. So I found a couple of different options for you guys. Some feathers, some little dangly, sparkly, just movement. When you're moving around, you want something eye-catching. You want to go out and see something glisten as you walk. And that's what this is about. So first up, I found this super cute top from It's Juliet. It's the Bay Feather Top for $46. This is also on sale. And just looking at this top, first of all, this top should be a lot more expensive than $46 in my opinion. It is regularly $55, but like, it's just feathers. <laughs> it's just, oh my gosh. It's a strapless feather top. It looks so fun and funky. Honestly, you could probably, do they have it styled as a skirt? Oh yeah, they, they style it as a skirt in this. I was literally thinking, I was like, you could probably wear this as a skirt. There we go, got two trends with this. We got the feathers and we got the mini skirts, boom. But I love this, I think it's so fun. Everyone would be complimenting you in this outfit. That's, that's what we're about right now. We're about confidence. This spring is all about fun, funky confidence. And we also have one from Lucy in the Sky. This is the Zendaya two-piece set in white. Regularly 120, it's on sale for 90. Literally almost everything that I'm talking about is on sale. Just trust me on this, follow the links down below. Get your stuff while you can. So this is gorgeous. And we're going to be talking about whites in just a little bit. So hold, hold on. But this gives it like that subtle movement without being too out there. It doesn't, it's not a full flapper dress or anything, but it's got like the bra top that we were talking about. It's got the mini skirt that we were talking about. We're going to be talking about whites and it has to move it this is spring this is what we're wearing in the spring guys this is it i just think that this would be so fun to just move around and go dancing just see those little bedazzles kind of flapping around like perfect i love this i might actually have to pick this up because i love it so much 
And there's one trend in here that I threw in because everyone's talking about it. I personally don't know how I feel about it yet, but I picked out some things in my taste for this trend. So hopefully if you're on the edge like me, this might weigh you one way or another. And it is crochet. If you haven't been to Target recently, I feel like Target has crochet everything. This one is also from Princess Polly. It is the Leia knit set for $68. This is more something I could see myself wearing. This is, to me, is like a beach fit. Like if I'm going to the beach, which I don't have beaches where I live, but if I did, this is something I would wear. Like I think it'd be perfect with a little bathing suit on top, a little like bag, a little tote bag. This to me screams spring and summer. And then I also have this dress from Pepper Mayo. <sighs> this dress is breathtaking to me. If I thought it would look flattering on me, I would probably get it, but I don't think the chest would look very flattering on me, so. But this is the Jet Set Crochet Mini Dress in Green Check. Gorgeous. I love the green. I've been very into green as of like the past couple of months. I've been just adding it every once in a while. So I love the checkered. I love the pattern. I love the color in there. It has this fun little brass circle holding the two pieces together. It's got the skin showing element. It's practically a bra top. Like this to me is what we're doing this spring season. And I love this so, so much. So definitely check them out. Check out Pepper Mayo. Pepper Mayo is one of my favorite places to shop. That and Shop Cider I've been really enjoying lately. All right, we have one more clothing trend and then we'll go into accessories. But my favorite okay i've said like my favorite trend for most of these but this is my favorite trend ladies and gents it is white before labor day <laughs> first of all i do this anyways i do not believe in the oh you can't wear white until after labor day mm -mm. but the fashion gods are saying it's a thing so heck yeah i'm going to be wearing all white outfits all the time so i went for more dresses because another big thing that's really in right now is bridal style so like very elegant very frilly very fun something you would wear as a bride that's what we're wearing doesn't this seem like the perfect trend like oh i love it so much so this first one is from cider as well it is the white ruffle hem cami dress gorgeous can we just admire the dress for a minute this is bridal white perfect i love this i love the little frills across the chest this to me is a spring dress this is to me something that i would go wear to pick flowers or have a little picnic or a tea party like oh i'm so excited for spring <laughs> this one is also from lucy in the sky again it's got that like bridal element to it this is the adriana satin set in white and this one is going for 66.75 on sale I love the silk element. This one also has the frills across the chest. This is, is this a two-piece set? Oh yeah, it's a, literally says set, lol. But it's got the um, like lace up back to it, which oh, that to me is like the bridal element that we're talking about. Oh, it's so perfect. I love it so much. I think the skirt is very flattering too. I like the little bone cross pattern that goes up. Perfect. Alrighty. Now it is time for the accessories. My favorite part of any trend alert video. That's why I save it to last. We do have the slides coming back in an all new fashion this year. They are the platform sandals. These are also can be very compared to the 90s sandals. Of course, everybody had a pair of these. Mine were made out of like foam core. Um, but these are the Cushion Air Women's Pim knit platform sandals with memory foam also on Amazon. These are running from $39.99 to $77.36. I don't know why they're such a big gap, but I love this taupe pattern because it has like the ribbed like stretchy material. I think it's so fun in like if you had a, like a ribbed new top with these and like maybe some jeans or some shorts. Oh, I just I feel summer right around the corner. I feel spring right around the corner. So I really like those and I think they're really cute. I had another option as well from Steve Madden. Of course, does anyone remember Steve Madden who was like iconic for the chunky shoes? They still are. So these are the Christia black leather. Is that it? 
<laughs> Anywho, they come in three different colors, the black, the nude, and the pink. I like the black, honestly, but these things are chonky. That's why I put the Amazon one in there too. It's a little bit less, but these things are like, these are thick. You'd be like stomping around in these. I'm totally on board with it. I love it. Uh, Steve Madden has had my heart recently, honestly, the stuff that they've been coming out with iconic so I think I might have to pick up a pair of these as well and we also already talked about this trend but it's going into the purses as well as the crochets so I wanted to add some Etsy sellers on here for the crochet pattern just so you could see this girl right here her uh, storefront is called honey art in nature perfect it is the chunky hand knitted bag bubbly handmade crochet purse retro shoulder bag vintage knit accessories bag up bag knit pattern unique gift <laughs> are we using titles now as like hashtags to find our shops i love it i love it um and this is going for 68 dollars. it is on sale as well so many different colors i love this almost like banana color and i think it's supposed to be like a new but it looks almost a little yellow i think this is so cute it has texture it has fun elements it's a shoulder bag which i am going to be wearing shoulder bags still through the spring season that is not going away for me so I really like this idea and they're handmade support a small business. So I love this one. All righty, everyone. So after I've chatted your ear off about the spring trends, let me know down below, what was your favorite spring trend that I discussed or a spring trend that you just heard about elsewhere and you plan on wearing this year? Personally, I think the white before Labor Day is probably my top one. I love I love them all, honestly. That's why I shared these ones with you is because these are the ones that I love the most and ones that I will see myself wearing. The platform slides for sure. They're not called slides anymore, but definitely going to be on my bucket list as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more content just like this. And I also, as always, will have my social media link down below. You can follow me there. I make more fashion content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully very soon it will be spring so you guys can see me try on all these trends and make them my own. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!